They hatch the eggs of a poisonous snake and spin a spider's web. Whoever eats their eggs will die. A poisonous snake is hatched. The prophet Isaiah chapter 59 verse 5. See the spider's web and see in it a most suggestive picture of the hypocrite's religion. It is meant to catch his prey. The spider fattens himself on flies and the Pharisee has reward. The foolish are easily entrapped by the loud professions of pretenders, and even more the judicious cannot always escape. Philip baptised Simon Magus, whose guileful declaration of faith was so soon exploded by the stern rebuke of Peter. Custom, reputation, praise, advancement and other flies are the small game which hypocrites take in their nets. A spider's web is a marvel of skill. Look at it and admire the cunning hunter's wiles. Is not a deceiver's religion equally wonderful? How he makes so barefaced a lie appear to be the truth. How can he make his tinsel answer so well the purpose of gold? A spider's web comes all from nature's own bowels. The bee gathers her wax from flowers, but the spider sucks no flowers, and yet she spins out her material to any length. Even so, hypocrites find their trust and hope within themselves. Their anchor was forged in their own anvil, and their cable twisted by their own hands. Then they lay out their own foundation, hew out the pillars of their own house, disdaining to be debtors of the sovereign grace of God. But the spider's web is also very frail. It is curiously made, but in not enduringly manufactured. It is no match for the servant's broom or the traveller's staff. The hypocrite needs no battery of Armstrong's to blow his hope to peace. A mere puff of wind will do it. Hypocritical cobwebs will soon come down when the broom of destruction begins its purifying work. Which reminds us of one more thought, that such cobwebs are not to be endured in the Lord's house. He will see to it that they and those who spin them shall be destroyed for ever. O oh, my soul, be resting on something better than a spider's web. Be the Lord Jesus, your eternal hiding place. Amen.